I think going to the restroom was on the limits. <laughs> uh, we wanted to keep cameras out. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean, you know, they let us sleep. They let us gather ourselves in the morning. <laughs> That's and, good. But pretty much beyond that, everything else was kind of open up to whatever they wanted to film. How would you say the show, you know, maybe affected your relationship at all? Because, you know, sometimes reality TV often affects marriages and relationships, but how are you making sure that you guys remain solid and remain grounded in your relationship? I think what it helped us do in the midst of the chaos was turn more inward to each other and lean on each other because we'd never been in a situation, obviously we live together and raise kids together, but we haven't worked together that intensely on something before. Mm -hmm. So there were definitely moments of frustration or long nights or long days would go on and on and on. And it helped us come to a point to really lean on each other more. And I, I think that it, brought us in some ways closer to each other, which is hard to imagine, but it really did. And the great thing about this is that it was something we could do with our kids and our entire family. And that was a blast in and of itself, just being with them, seeing how much they enjoyed the process and how unpredictably funny they were in some certain, certain circumstances. So I really think that it brought us closer together as a family. That's great. Usually everybody's running in a million different directions. So our time together is so limited. And so we try and spend quality time, maybe not quantity time. So that was nice for us to have that time carved out. And we really could actually hang out with each other and enjoy our whole family even more. Definitely. We haven't spent any time together since, but <laughs> it was fun during that process. <laughs> yes, just that short period of time. <laughs> we were thrilled to be together. And now it's like, oh gosh. Like when's he going back on tour? <laughs> Ooh, we're in separate rooms right now. I mean, why did you guys decide to let cameras into your home? That's a very, very good question. We're not, <laughs> we're not sure we have a great answer for it. To be no, you know, it was one of those things where we'd been on Chrisley Knows Best a few times and Todd and Julie are dear friends of ours. And they took us out to dinner one night and they said, look, we think that there's something there. We think you guys have a show the way you interact with each other and your kids are so funny and unpredictable. And I think people would enjoy seeing what life is really like for somebody like you, Jay, who's in a band and is always on tour when they come back home and they deal with real life circumstances with being married and having kids and all that that entails and all the juggling that you have to do because of that. I think people would enjoy having a look behind the curtain. So we thought about it for a while. Todd is our executive producer and he assured us, he said, look, I'm not, I know that there's a brand there that Rascal Flats has worked really hard to build. So I'm not ever going to put you in a bad light, but I think it'll be really, really funny. And I promise you, I'll protect you and your family. And after we considered it for a while and did a sizzle reel, we found out we kind of really enjoyed the process and it was fun and something that the whole family could do together. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. Here you are. So tell everybody a little bit about your family and who we're going to meet and, you know, who we're going to see. Well, Jay and I have two kids. Uh, Madeline is nine. Dylan is seven. He just tur now turned eight. And my mom's in the show with us. My sister, who lives very close by, and her husband, their daughter. Um, we have a guy, Mickey, who cooks for us all the time because I do not cook, Christina. <laughs> I hear <laughs> you. I hear you. I Mickey cooks for us and uh, friends of ours. I mean, My brother-in-law, James, who's married to Amy. Yes, James Otto. So we just, uh, it's a big party because that is typically what's going on in our house. We've always got somebody coming in the front door and something going on. So, except for lately, obviously. Right, so. of course, of course. You're friends with Rob Riggle, so he pops in for an episode along with a few of my other buddies, D.B. Sweeney, and, and it's for a charity golf tournament we had going on during the time we were filming. So uh -huh. he gets pretty chaotic and Jonathan Sheck pops in. So I've got a lot of uh, great buddies that stop by and, and have some fun with me for sure. That's so much fun. How would you guys describe your family in three words? Um, insanely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was the hardest part about having cameras in your home all the time? Was it really hard for you guys to get used to? Because Obviously, it's not like a fly on the wall, like you notice them. So what was kind of the most challenging thing for you guys shooting this? I think 
um, for me, it was getting used to them being around all the time and ignoring them. Yeah. Because if you can't get to the place to where you ignore the cameras, you can't really be who you are or react the way that you normally would in any given situation naturally. So it, it, the hard part was, you know, going, they're here. Everybody's going to live in our house for a few months. We've got to act like no one's here. Yeah. And after, you know, I'll, I will say it took a couple of weeks to get into that groove. But after we did, it was it was much, much better and much more uh, stress free because mm -hmm. we weren't worrying all the time about everybody being around. Yeah. What was what's that moment that is going to make you guys cringe watching it back that you're like, oh, I do not want to air this. I, I'm not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> times we get on to our son because that's all I've done during quarantine. I realized that I'm used to taking a seven hour break mm -hmm. from saying, please don't do this, please don't do that, which then turns to no, as a, <laughs> a mom does in quarantine when she's had no sleep and is not only a mother but a teacher all of a sudden and there's no seven hour break. So by three o'clock when you would normally pick your child up, well, they're still with you. Yep. <laughs> so, um, so I, I can't wait to see just how many times we yell, Dylan, stop. That's no. a good point. <sighs> I never thought about that, but that's a good point. <laughs> that is a good point. I think for me, it's going to be taking my shirt off to get in the bathtub. <laughs> Why? Everybody wants to see that. <laughs> it, it's pretty pasty white. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Need a little powder that day. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> And <laughs> obviously the show is called DeMarcus Family Rules. So what is that one rule in your house that is always being broken? Um, every rule is being broken all the time in our house. I do make a valiant effort to have rules. No one pays attention to them. I make every effort I can to break all of them. <laughs> Which really helps with parenting our children. Because sure. like, Why would we do that? That's no fun. I'm like, Where's my backup? I need some backup here, please. Hello. Have <laughs> it hard enough. I want them to have fun, right. you know. You're, you're I want them to, just, I want them to be spontaneous, and and she doesn't like spontaneity all that much. I mean, it's just hard to be really fun and spontaneous when you've got kids who are in dance and theater and flag football and baseball and basketball and on and on and on. You, you have to plan things. I mean, you have to show up for things that are on time. <laughs> What are some of those fun moments that uh, we're going to see? Because obviously, like in the trailer, we see some really funny moments and things like that in the first episode. So what are some of those fun, lighthearted moments that we're going to see? We don't know what ended up in each episode. Right. Uh, enough, we have not seen the episodes. We're going to watch it like everyone else has watched yeah. it. Um, I, I know what's in the trailer there and, and what people have seen, but there, we, uh, we filmed a really great, really nice uh, Thanksgiving episode. Um, my family was able to fly in my sister and my mother and to have everybody around the table together and for it to be a, sort of a, an homage to Ali's father who passed away in 16. It was our first big Thanksgiving together without him there. So uh, it, I remember filming it and it being very emotional and very special. So I think that's one of the things that, that everybody can relate with uh, yeah. in one way or another. Definitely. Looking forward to seeing that. I mean, was there anything that was off limits? I think going to the restroom was off limits. <laughs> uh, we wanted to keep cameras out. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, you know, they let us sleep. They let us gather ourselves in the morning. <laughs> That's good. But pretty much beyond that, everything else was kind of open up to whatever they wanted to film. Mm -hmm. That's the we made. Yeah. Did Todd give you any advice? going into this, um, to, into everything? What, what was that kind of one piece of advice? He, he said, don't screw it up. Todd is always full of advice. He <laughs> has always got something to say. So don't ask if you're not wanting to listen to it. He does have something to tell you. He said, now y'all listen, I'm executive producer of this. And if y'all go out there and fall flat on your face and don't make this a success, it's going to be your fault, not mine. <laughs> Because you do a great impression. <laughs> do not mess my my track record up. So no pressure there at all, right? right? No pressure whatsoever. No pressure. No pressure. How did uh -huh. um, How did you two meet? Uh, we met on FarmersOnly.com. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. We uh, we met actually on the set of the video for these days. She was the star of our video. And uh, I was immediately, immediately taken with her and she was beautiful, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. And I knew that I just, 
I, at the end of the day, I was almost kind of sad that we were rapping and I wasn't ever going to see her again. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I wanted to keep seeing her and keep talking to her and keep hanging out with her. And I was, uh, you know, I was hooked. It, it only took that 13 hour day to make me know for certain that I wanted to spend more time and be around this person a lot longer than just that one day. So, which is so sweet for him to say coming off quarantine since now he's had more of me than he's ever had because he <laughs> get on the road and they had to cancel their tour. So, I'd give anything to be back on the road right now. <laughs>